Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, sorry this is like at my desk and it's not where it's going to be in a minute, but I somehow have lost the footage for the next intro of the video, but it was basically me with my new upgrades for my mountain bike, so very pleased I had them. I'm not going to say what they are, but you will definitely find out in a minute. But um, stay tuned, subscribe to both my channels, Apex to Apex, Cars Down Under, which should be up there. Or there, one of the sides. Um, yeah, subscribe, leave a bell on. So I know I'm not in frame, but it doesn't really matter. So what I have gone and got for brake discs is the Shimano SMRT 76s, which are 302, no, it's 302s, 203s. So I've gone from 180 to the 302, the 203s. Oh my god, I can't speak today. Um, basically, so yeah, I've gone up a size in the discs, and I can tell you these are absolutely huge. To give you an idea, my hand, it they are huge, and I haven't. I've probably got like average size hands, but um, yeah, I'm not. These aren't the Ice Tech ones. If you know your brakes and everything. Um, just purely because they were like quite a bit more expensive, but I think these will do the job and they weigh absolutely nothing. Um, let's just open them up here. Um, let's try and get them. I'll try not to touch the brake discs because I know what some people are like. But um, let's just get these out. And they are light, there's like nothing to them, absolutely nothing to them, but they're really nice um, quality, nice all metal, you can hear that. Um, not too thick, but nice enough to uh, definitely make you stop. Um, so, just put these all back to the side and then we'll show you what you guys have clicked on this video for is the proper upgrades. So, here they are, the Shimano Dior XTs. So if you don't know your brakes, these are, in my opinion, one of the best on the market. They're definitely up there with like your SRAM and your Hopes, and they're definitely a very big competition brake. Um, so these are definitely an upgrade from my two pots. Um, so these are four pot fully hydraulic brakes, um, brand new as you can see, they're not even out of the box. Um, so everything, I've got this little, little kit here for like brake bleeding and everything, and got your hardware, and then I think they're not too sure what they are, if you know what they are leave a comment down below. Um, but yeah, let's start with this end, the handle, it's going to be up in the cockpit end. Oh, they are nice. I'll try and give you a view, hopefully that's, uh... alright, there we go. They are pretty nice, and they've got a nice like tip at the end here so your finger doesn't just fall off. Um, they, I'm not going to press the brakes in, but just having them there, you can feel that they're, they're going to brake very nicely. Um, so you've got your free, what's this, free stroke, so I'm, guess, I'm trying to think what that is. Um, I think that's the action, like how much it moves. I think I'm not too sure. I'm fairly new to all the brakes and everything, so I'm still learning. Um, this is how much uh, reach it is, so if you want it like further forward or backwards and everything like that. But let's get down to the end where all the money is. Because <laughs> these were not cheap. But uh, that's another story, but you're not here for that. So here are the... Ah, table tennis toy. Um, here are the SRAM table tennis ball. Um, you done? 
Okay, it's done. Uh, sound like it broke. Um, here are the Shimano Dior XTs. So they're four pistons. So if you don't know what that is, so you've got one piston there, one piston there. You've got one piston there, one piston there. Um, these are your pads. So these are the fin pads, so like the newer technologies. Technologies or technology. Um, so obviously it cools it down a little bit better. And it's got the Ice Tech um, pads and everything in there. So. I try and should be able to see that the pads are pretty thick so they should last a long while as I, do. I hope they do anyway because they're probably not the cheapest pads but they're not ridiculous which is nice um, so later on in another video which will be the next video probably you will see me installing these onto my mountain bike the Trek Fuel X7 um, which I'm actually going to do later today. Um, the guys down in the shop um, are going to like help and show me um, how to do the brake cables, like all in because my rear brake is internally routed. I've never done that before on a bike. So shout out down to the guys at Evo Cycles in Cambridge. Big thumbs up to them. So if you need a bike in New Zealand, go to Evo Cycles. They help you out there. A good bunch of people. Um, so yeah, going down there later um, to do the internal routing for my rear brake. And then other than that, I'm going to be doing the discs myself, which is pretty easy. It's just six bolts or screws, whatever we call them. And then front brake I can do myself because it's all on the outside. Um, and then what else? I think that's it to be honest. And then just rear brake. Um, but I am waiting. Oh, I haven't shown you this. Uh, Take that off, that's all the just receipt. Um, because I'm going from a 180 to a 203 rotor, um, I'm having to get a brake kit adapter um, or a disc brake mount adapter is the proper name for it. Um, so basically, just gives a little bit more room, it just moves the caliper up a bit to allow a bigger disc. Um, but they only brought in one for some reason, so they ordered me another one in that should be in tomorrow or Saturday but fingers crossed it comes in tomorrow morning because tomorrow I am doing a 24 hour bike ride challenge um, which is going to be insane so definitely stay tuned and uh, subscribe and everything um, so yeah if you have guys if you have enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like subscribe and I'll see you on the next video which will be working on this beast of a bike and upper redwoods and everything so there'll be a couple of videos coming this week um, so stay tuned and yeah so enjoy peace